Hey guys, Justin Russell here on Lake X. Again, round two with the new Tour Pro trolling motor. What is Tour Pro? Tour Pro is what 90% of you guys out there are gonna want. It is the Pinpoint GPS integration. Again, pairs up with Lowrance Electronics for control ability, but compatibility for sonar, down imaging 2D sonar for three different brands. Lowrance, Hummingbird, and Garmin units. Here again with Nate, gonna go over some of this stuff. Just got done running it myself, gonna go over some of the same features. A lot of the stuff's gonna be interchangeable here directly with the original tour mount that we just had in another video of ours. So guys, if you buy a boat that has a tour and wanna to upgrade to the Tour Pro, you can use the same mount, put the head on there, good to go with all that stuff. Really, really awesome trolling motor. Super, super responsive. Nate was the engineer kind of force beside this trolling motor here. Gonna go over some stuff on it here. So here we go. Start to finish, same motor, right? Yep, that same we got motor on unit. the tour versus yes. this versus all that. Same prop. Big difference though, going over with remote control features, right? So you yes. have remote control, you have foot pedal, you've got anchor, what everybody wants. You've got course lock, you've got constant on. Really cool trolling motor. Same cable system yes. as well. Absolutely, correct? same exact cables. So you guys come to market here, not just one design, but two new design on the trolling motor features and stuff. So tell me a little bit about it from concept to where you are today, using the tools that we've had mm -hmm. previously, coming here with the, the new foot pedal. You know, what, what are a lot of the differences on this and what you're seeing currently out there on the market? Yeah, so what we did, we spent a bunch of money and we bought a bunch of our competitors' motors to, to, to figure out what they don't do well. Um, and that's where we attacked. Um, the steering feel is by far, besides GPS, right? The steering feel is what's gonna set this motor apart. Um, we said, what does the competition do? Well, they're jerky, they're twitchy, they're loud. It almost feels like there's only one speed. Well, what can we do better? Well, we can make our motor steer faster. We're over twice the speed of steering of the competition. So when you're coming into a dock and you gotta slam into reverse really quick, that motor's gonna be around as fast as it would be with a regular cable steer. And, um, it, it's incredible. Um, it is fast. It's, it's really fast. It's really action. fast. Um, and then, you know, we weren't super concerned with noise. Um, when you're typically fishing with this motor, um, you're going to be fishing generally within 30 degrees of straight on each way. And when you're steering, you're going to be steering relatively slow. Um, and at the slow speed, the thing's as quiet as a cable steer. When you're going super fast, you're typically not worried about spooking fish. So it's <laughs> going to be a little bit noisier, but it's still as quiet as the competition is when you're steering it fast. Um, but the biggest thing is we're an anchor right now. The foot pedal moves, everything's tied together with cables. This is a true cable steer. Alrighty, so this motor has it's a true cable steer system. So let's say you, you're fishing someday and something happens to the electronics in your motor. I mean, we design it, we test it, we say it's not gonna fail, but we all know something, sometimes it happens. Uh, if I unplug this right now, you can still steer the motor with your pedal. Your efforts are going to go up a little bit, but you're still going to be on the water. As still long as relying on cables, yes. just like you we have. You do that with any other motor out here that competes in this premium cable steer with GPS category, you're not, you're done. Yeah, you're sure they don't work. Done, you know, um, so that's, that's a real advantage of it. Um, so this, if we look at how the steering system works, it is a straight, the pedal is very similar to the, the tour motor, except for um, we now have buttons on the side that allow you to enter anchor, heading lock, or constant on. Um, so we're in anchor right now. It's kind of a windy day out here, it's not bad, but as you can see, the motor's steering, is keeping us in the same spot. The foot pedal's moving, so when you exit anchor and you wanna go somewhere, you hop on that pedal, that lower unit is right where it is aligned. You don't need to wait for it to catch up. You're pretty much right there. Um, so uh, another thing is you may notice the size of the, the head of this motor is big, right? It is, It's yeah. big, it's big, but there's a reason it's big. It's big because we were concerned about durability. You know, we don't want to be breaking shafts. We don't want to be bending shafts. We don't want to be ending your day because you're low, you, you broke your column. So what do we do? We said, what, what protects your shaft best? A 360 breakaway system. So instead of putting the steering transmission where the 360 breakaway goes, we kept the 360 breakaway there and we moved the transmission into the head. That's um, why the head's so that's big. That's why the head okay. is bigger. Um, once you fish with it, it pretty much goes away. I mean, it matches the size of the mount wheel well, it kind of blends in with the front of the boat. Um, so it's, it's, it's a sweet system. Um, Real quick rundown on this. So it's a 109, 45 inch shaft. Again, unit compatibility for 2D sonar and down imaging. We're looking at Garmin, Hummingbird, Lowrance, 
Lowrance full integration yes. for being able to be controlled from a unit, just like a normal gateway, I assume, yeah. correct? Yeah, this one, if you do hook this one up though, we eliminated the gateway, it connects direct to NEMA 2000. Oh, okay, so, so no more NEMA adapter no or conversion? No more $150 gateway kit, you okay. just buy a NEMA network, hook it up and you're going. Okay, fantastic. Um, everything operates, does it have an external antenna that's required to run this? Nope, Any it's all internal, all, everything is internal. It has uh, all the magnetic compasses, you know, you, there's no puck you have to mount on your boat, everything's okay. built in. Fantastic here. What's price point coming in on this complete bad boy with remote control here as well too? Twenty-seven ninety-nine, correct? Yep. Yep. And, and um, let's say you buy it and you don't have it connected to Lowrance units. If you say you want to connect it to Lowrance units, you don't have to replace the head like you have to do on other motors. It plugs directly in. So you buy it with what you've got right now, and then if you want that advanced connectivity, the ability to navigate to waypoints or follow routes that you just put a gateway kit on, or not, excuse me, a NEMA starter kit on your boat and you're good there. One of the things, again, kind of like the motor guide tour that we were on the boat with earlier, the big thing that I see here is, as being a huge uh, advantage to people, if, if you're running mixed units or you're not necessarily caring about having a unit to control the trolling motor, which a lot of us bass fishermen are not. You know, right. I know the walleye guys love it, the crappie guys do. Um, a lot of, from our experience on the retail side, not a lot of the bass consumers are truly concerned about following a contour line on things along those lines. But again, the easeability of being able to change units um, on the front, being able to add things to it, mm -hmm. having that benefit of being able to do that um, as people research other units, mm -hmm. you know, and the price point, you're looking at three to four hundred dollars less of a comparable product in the same 36 volt, 45 inch shaft. Again, with the anchor feature, everybody's really concerned about the anchor feature. So, again, three trolling motors coming head to head here. For the guys that may or may not know what units they want to run, this is the perfect scenario for this. I see this being huge for boat dealerships, especially with the pairing seamless. Yep. You know, the less cables you can have exposed, the less likely you're to damage a, a transducer. It's a cleaner look, it's more efficient look as well, too. Again, super, super impressed with this. I think you guys have hit the right price point for this coming into it you know for all the features that it has and we've been here on anchor for a long time now have and moved. it's yeah have not moved at all yeah. i mean that's that pinpoint anchoring Absolutely. system that yeah. they've been known for three times as accurate yeah, yeah and and you guys i mean from my experience i've been in this during a long long time i remember an 0203 era of the original pinpoint trolling motor coming out doing what it was doing you know unreal the holding positions everything like that and so again tried and true guys they've been in the trolling motor they dominated the trolling motor market for a long 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 time so to see them come back into it with a product that is is people have been asking for it's it's a great year to be a consumer with all these new products coming to market the choices are great it's driving innovation it's driving these products to be better super excited guys we're going to get to, uh, out here and do some playing around here some more be sure to check us out for some other videos of course on our youtube channel make sure you guys hit that bell